Government jobs are pretty cushy gigs from which to ride out the recession and upskill. Government jobs look like the bomb at the moment. Huge job security. Solid WLB meaning you have time to learn new things. Some surprisingly interesting work going on using modern tech etc. Looks like a good place to ride out the recession and layoffs before going into the private sector. With more skill than you have now. I targeted defense contractors hard for months and couldn't get a single interview even with legit referrals in. I wound up getting a great job elsewhere but I really wanted that work from home 10 hours day with every Friday off schedule. Yes but getting hired directly by the government is hard. You will most likely be a government contractor. But yeah the majority of jobs around me are government contract work so go for it. How are you finding these? I'm too yo in the corporate world and can't see myself staying much longer. Me personally I'd be all for it. Some around me are 40 hour weeks. Great benefits. Solid pay. Sure not as much as other areas. But I'm perfectly fine making a bit less for increased stability and benefits. But. I'm also still applying and looking for work so what do I know? Lol. The caveats of this. Must be US citizen. Must be okay with drug tests. I would also agree that you probably aren't upskilling unless you mean in your spare time. But more in a holding pattern since stacks are a bit old and progress is the speed of government. Good place to ride a recession. Hmm. Road recessions at Fortune 500 companies for the past two recessions. I think sitting in a government job makes you a lot less attractive to non-government employers. Particularly large caps but that is just my humble opinion. I'm a dev for a state government and just landed an interview for another state government dev job in a different state and would finally put me at six figures. Woo. Surprisingly interesting work on modern tech stack. Bro I'm working with this military now and their engineers are working on a Java wrapper for COBOL. Interesting. Maybe. Modern. A. This is extremely dependent on your team. There's a good chance your co-workers will be boomers who literally don't know how to use Git. I wish I was joking. Been a defense contracting software engineer since graduating a few years ago and loving it. Already at six figures and I'm leading a team of five developers now as well. Highly recommend getting in if you can. Warning as someone leaving that field. You will be bored as fuck or you'll be put on some project held by some jackass who wants you to somehow use a web framework to do embedded engineering. Good luck with that one. Government jobs look like the bomb. So you never worked in government? Government jobs suck. They're not the same as working for government contractors. Working for actual city. State. Federal governments are soul-sucking black holes for sanity. Contractors are better but not by much with cleared positions being relatively best. Government sucks ass. You will not upskill as a government employee. You will maybe upskill as a government contractor. I'm a retired veteran who transitioned to a contractor position before getting hired as a federal employee. I just switched from 20 years public to private in December. Yup I'm working as a full-time GIS analyst for local gov while I finish my compshi degree. It's a low-stress job and when the workday is over. It's over. Might even pursue an MS in analytics afterwards. Cries in immigrant. I started my career in government contracting. Wanted to blow my brains out. Low pay. Will never go back. Modern tech. 
When I worked on government contracts we had a saying of we use yesterday's technology tomorrow. I was hired in 2015 to work on a new project and we started it off using JavaScript libraries and frameworks that haven't been used in like a decade at that point. Yeah I wouldn't pass a government level background check or a drug test but if that's not an issue for you definitely go for it job security is a great thing. What gov jobs are you talking about? If you can get one they can be super hard to get especially if you've never served in the military. Well too bad I can't get hired for one because they require clearance just to apply. Just from my personal experience searching as a new grad they're just as competitive to get into. And mostly looking for seniors. Anecdotal. I applied to my in-person 911 company that was looking for an entry-level developer. It's not the smallest city but isn't the biggest either and again required on-site. Over 100 applicants according to HR when I tried to follow up with them. They were overwhelmed. Defense contractors on the other hand multiple entry postings but either in the worst states I have. Zero desire to move to for ethical reasons or remote roles that get thousands of applicants. But ya yeah, can't be a reefer. I hate to tell you this. But it's really hard to upskill when working at government jobs. You're forced to learn everything during non-working hours rather than during 8-9 hours during the day at work. Every now and then you can find a decent team that's passionate about staying up to date on best practices. But I can't stress enough how much more I learned after leaving government work. You can't really upskill at government jobs. It's mostly downskilling for the duration you are there since the stack is outdated and the scale is not big. Also if you are a senior Shay and good at interviews. Layoffs aren't even that bad. You get five months of severance. And you can secure another job in two months. So you end up cash flow positive each time you get laid off. You forgot to mention two big caveats. One. Must be a US citizen too. Don't expect high TC. Disagree. If working less than two years. You have to be in the office all the time. It works greatly if the neighborhood is beautiful. But you'd be making under 100k. Government almost never shrinks. The problem but good if you like coasting. Agency and team leadership really matters. I get every other Friday off and no forced overtime. But very little telework flexibilities just because and it is often a high pressure and thankless environment. Bleeding co-workers left and right to fully remote higher paying private sector jobs. Why leave if it offers all of that? Might as well just ride it out and get a nice cushy pension. Do they hire entry level or are these all for experienced people? Agreed. State government gig. Getting to learn a lot and they don't mind I'm at a slower pace. All customers are just internal users who aren't very demanding. Loving it. Can't speak for the US government but it's also usually a great way to stunt your career. Development.